Hello Leo, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope that you all are having a beautiful day today. I'm here to give you your general energy reading. Please keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, if you'd like to donate to the channel or purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of the information will be in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're not new, welcome back. I truly appreciate the love and support. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy, so we're just going to go ahead and tap right in. <clears throat> Spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please protect me and my collective as I channel the messages for the sign of a Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north note. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 10 million fold. And anybody out there showing me love. Much love and light to you. <clears throat> You're freeing yourself from people, places, and things that make you feel imprisoned. Some of you guys could be born on July 29th. You're freeing yourself from expectations of others as well. It's like you're tired of being disappointed. So you're focusing more on yourself at this time. Your heart is so big. You love so hard. And it seems that some people just take advantage of that. Speaking of that, um, you will be getting a message here from someone. You could be born August 7th or August 13th or July 28th. There's a wealthy man that's planning on sending you a message in regards to your journey, your path. You could be 35 or you may be turning 35 this year or you could be between 30, 35-ish. Okay. Somebody doesn't want you to be victorious. You could be a healer. And you could be the most loving person. But there's a lot of people jealous of your journey. People that are... Yeah, as soon as I cut the deck, you have envy here. There's a lot of people jealous of you. And your journey... You're very aware. See, the thing about you, Leo, is you open up a lot of heart chakras. People never expect to feel the way that they feel about you. Family, friends, or romantic partners. Yeah, because you love everybody. Angel number 777. You love everybody. You know, and people envy how much people love you. It's like you love people because you love people. Other people hate that people love you so much. But you won't hear them tell, me, tell you this information. There's a lot of people that their throat chakra is blocked when it comes to you. And it's because you're so outspoken, but you're so loving. You can be the most gentle, caring, passionate individual ever. But when a Leo is fed up, when a Leo is done, when a Leo's mind is made up, ain't nothing you can do about it. Nothing. And you've made up your mind to not attach yourself to those that make you feel caged. You're no longer trying to please everybody. You're focusing more on yourself. And people are jealous of this where you are right now. You got some man thinking in there. They're thinking about you. They're in their head about you. You could be not thinking about this person at all. Focusing on your journey, on your goals, on your money. Because you realize that this person wasn't showing you genuine love. 
And now it's like this person can't get over this anxiety that they're going through. They're overthinking when it comes to you. It's a lot of things on this person's mind. You know. Spirit, tell me more about this wealthy man. Who is the wealthy man? Somebody that's very materialistic. Things could have turned sour with you and this person. So this could be someone that's very financially stable. Or it could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or a Libra. This person is pretty smooth. But it's like. They block your creativity some kind of way. And I feel like it's because this person has you and your feelings. They don't say what they mean. They just think what they mean, if that makes sense. You know, they never let you in on anything. And this is why this connection couldn't work. This person was afraid of commitment. They feared taking this chance with you. They never truly spoke on this. But this person's very they feel very guilty. Yeah, because they blocked their emotions. And now you're guarded. So this person is beating themselves up right now because they feel like they were being in immature. You were very loving with this person, you know. But they did not reciprocate energy. I see a message here. From someone that you set your boundaries up with. You had to cut this person off. Because they were being unfair. This person didn't take any type of accountability. They got caught red handed. Probably doing things with community people. You know what I'm saying? And the secrets were revealed. But this person didn't say anything. They didn't confirm. Deny. Some of them, they didn't even reply. Yeah, I see you manifesting, though. You're working on some things, and this person is watching you very closely. They want to come out of isolation when it comes to you. They now see the value that you hold. This person is going through spiritual poverty at this time. They're very jealous of the attention that you're getting. Um, this person is very moody, though. Yeah, they made the wrong choice when it comes to you. This person feels guilty about how they did you. Yep. It was a disappointment. A disappointment because this person was so stuck in their ego. You thought that because of how well you love this person, they would drop the ego. But nope. This person still feared the unknown, so they held back. While you continue to be loving, compassionate, mature. Yeah, the secret's out the bag. This person was very deceptive. You know, gave you a lot of illusions, betrayed you. Very charming to multiple people. Okay. What else we got, spirit? What else for Leo spirit? New love. It could be meeting a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is going to make you feel free. They're so smart, attractive, well-mannered. This person could possibly have a history with jail. Or this could be your past person. You may be getting an unexpected call. But I see that you're going to be having a great time with this new person. It's somebody you can really be yourself with. And this person, they don't want you to be alone. This person wants to be your partner. You definitely could have a situation where you may possibly be dealing with someone affiliated with jail. 
or legal issues. There's some type of unexpected bond or release here. And you may have a choice between the past and the present. So be sure to make the right choice. Spirit is telling you not to wait for this person. Um, or you may chose not to wait for this person that's in jail. And move forward with your new love. This is going to bother somebody here. Because the new person is going to surprise you, give you gifts. They're going to want to show you that they appreciate you. And this could be a musician or someone that works at a nightclub, a DJ. Somebody that's ready for love. See, this past person was very emotionally immature with you. But see, you're the catch. Here's the fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. If you're feminine, you're very curvy, beautiful, bold, passionate, courageous, sexy, smart, goal-oriented, self-made. This is the reason why you got the past and the present person obsessed with you. Definitely the past. This person wants you back. They know they're not going to get a chance to be with anybody else like you. They do not want you to let this situation go at all. They don't feel special because you've been ignoring the crap out of them. But you know it is what it is. Spirit, what are some closing messages from the ancestors and the guides for Leo? Be devoted and committed. So whatever you're working on, be committed to that. Things are going to come into fruition for you. If you interacting with this new love and you guys are going to take things to the next level, make sure you put, you know, you know be committed, be devoted. This is a good person. This is somebody who's smart, fast thinker. Unleash the wild within. So go ahead and come out of your shell, Leo, because you ain't that shy. And even if you're shy, baby, you're going to stand out regardless. So we know it's some creativity in there. It's some passion in there. It's some things that you are great at. Trust me, you're creative. Unleash the magic within. Yeah. And this don't even belong in here. Angel of strength. You pulling your own energy, baby. You are strong. You're brilliant. You're attractive. You're talented. Make plans and focus. Move in a new direction. Spirit got you. Already. You feel me? Go ahead and uh, let the cat out the bag. We know y'all got something up y'all sleeve. Something. <laughs> Those are the messages that I have for you, my beautiful and my handsome Leos. If you enjoy this reading, if it resonates with you, please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.